Melbourne, it's Jack Edwards and Frank Adams welcoming you to the final quarter. Big replay of the game between Footscray and Fitzroy. And Footscray are struggling slightly. They are three points uh, in arrears of the Fitzroy total. And Footscray going forward now from the members wing on the on the members' side, naturally enough, Stevie Power goes forward with a torpedo punt kick. Up towards centre-half forward, up they go. A mark will be paid to Carter, the centre-half back down there. Butch Gray in this final term are kicking to the northern end of the Western Oval, which is favoured by a very, very slight breeze. A kick from Carter, a good one. Smith, the man in front. Quinlan goes for the spoil. The ball comes back to him. He breaks clear with a hand pass. Gets it to Rasmus, and the kick was smothered by Irwin. Stacks on the mill down there. And umpire Neville Nash to bounce halfway between centre half forward and half forward flank. Fitzroy can't afford any more uh, replacements because they've had two fellows replaced already. Miller and Robertson have both left the field, so they have both reserves on. Now it's Irwin to the outer side of the ground with a high kick. It could be just in time. Yes, the mark is taken by Linton. The hairy headed Linton coming through now from centre wing on the outer side up towards Serafini one of the fellows who came on oh got the ball tapped out of his grasp he finds back at centre half forward for Fitzroy would have been penalised for holding the ball the ground called it but umpire Nash didn't there's a hand pass a wild one out towards that was meant for McMahon but he can't get it it's turned now Stevie Power gets onto the left foot hooks the ball around up towards half back flank position an easy mark taken by Featherby Featherby gets balanced puts a wobbly looking kick up towards the half forward flank well starts to miss brings it down. Been a very, a very quiet player for Footscray today, Peter yeah, Welsh, but yes. now coming into the game in the final minutes. Kicks the ball to within about 40 metres of goal. Tapped out here. Barry Round trying to get forward. In there was also McMahon. Lloyd now with an opportunity as the ball bounces up into his arms. He gets a left foot working for him. Kicks it wide. Going out there is Linton and Linton and Jennings do battle. Jennings, the quickest man off the mark, gets round. Shows a ton of pace as he puts the ball onto the left foot. Drives it across towards centre half forward and a nice mark taken by Adrian Gallagher. Got one right in the middle of the back, but a Gallagher from this position couldn't score. He'd be 65 metres out from where he'll kick. In a couple of long kicks now, he's going to the outer side, looking for a teammate on the half forward flank. The mark taken by Rasmussen. Within kicking distance, about 50 metres out from goal. As I said, only a very, very slight breeze favouring uh, favoring the end to which Foots Gray is now kicking. Rasmussen coming in. Nice looking torpedo punt kick starting to work its way down, dropping short on the edge of the square. The ball beats the pack, picked up here by O'Keefe, went for the bounce, pushes the ball along in front of him. The ball directed over the line and out of bounds, 55 metres away from the Footscray goal. Fitzroy in the previous three quarters have managed to jump Footscray very early in those periods. Footscray have fought their way back. The ball tapped down here, players running into trouble. Conditions today dry and firm, but we've certainly seen... Uh, a little bit of congestion on uh, more occasions than one. Gary Wilson, who's uh, roved like a tiger today. The ball being given back to Hubbards. Hubbards on just short of half forward flank, 40 metres out from goal. Chance here to give Footscray the lead. They trail by three points. Hubbards, who's already kicked two, drives the ball long. That looks pretty good to me. That's four points kicked by Ray Hubbards. So that's three goals for him. And it's Fitzroy now on 10 goals, 12, 72 points. Trailing Footscray on 11-9, 75. Well, there's been nothing in the game all day long. Right from the very first bounce, uh, the, the scores have been very, very close. At quarter time, Fitzroy led by two points. At half time, Footscray led by six points. And at three quarter time, as I've told you, uh, Fitzroy led by three points. And now we see Footscray go to the lead by three points. So there's been nothing in the game all day long. And I can imagine this will continue until the final bell. At the centre bounce, Dempsey too late on the scene. The ball tapped down to Ward Murphy. It's been a quiet player for Fitzroy and Murphy giving away the free kick. The kick we take it by Featherby. Featherby drives to the outer side, looking for Huppets. Huppets gets up, can't take the mark. Puts Gray in full flight now. Picked up and kicked by Sandlitz. The shot going very close. Sandlitz drops this one. That's his sixth goal of the game. Oh, I'm sorry, that's his sixth goal of the game. Murray Sandlitz has now kicked six goals. He was moved out to centre half forward. Uh, halfway during the uh, what third quarter it was, uh, it's still featured in the play, picked up another goal, and now we see Sandlin's kicking his sixth goal, and Footscray moving away to a nine-point lead. Yes, Footscray have done well to fight back about halfway through the third term. Fitzroy looked like moving ahead. They went to a 13-point lead, but since then, Footscray have gradually fought their way back in the game, and as we've already told you, right at this moment, five minutes into the final term, they lead by nine points. The bounce favours Dempsey. Footscray starts oh. to take it away, and Gallagher gets iron right out. The colour. He came on when he replaced Miller in the third term. Gallagher certainly found it. Gets a hand pass working across here. 
Well supported as Jennings tries to forward out towards the half forward play. Wells with the great piece of play, takes it out and should get the benefit of the 15 metre penalty. Fitzroy going to pieces. Well, I don't know if that was really on. Welsh was falling, Frank. Uh, I suppose the weight of Carter on his back didn't help him any. But the 15 metre penalty against Fitzroy on that occasion, I didn't think was warranted. But it certainly puts Welsh within scoring distance. Not that he's such a great kick. Sometimes he kicks them, sometimes he doesn't. Peter Welsh from about 45 metres out. Drives the ball flatting from left to right, offline, and one point. Puts Gray on 12 10 82. Fitzroy on 10 12 72. 10 points in it. Puts Gray giving in every indication of perhaps being the fitter side. It's Harvey Merrigan who puts boot the ball. The kick not all that good. Starting to drop short. Favors Dempsey, the man in front. He can't bring it down. Follows up, secures, gives it out towards Huffets. Out of the left foot goes Huffets. Kicks the ball high as it starts to swing to the pocket. Lloyd with a bit of a push in the back as the camera caught. So to do the umpire and a free kick going puts Gray's way. Barry round the recipient, moving into position to take his shot at goal. He'll take it from about 15 to 20 metres out, 45 degree angle. Not a difficult shot. So Footscray, who we've already seen kick two goals in the last six minutes of play, and round now, a chance to kick his first. And he comes, it looks pretty good, it is. It's full points kicked by Barry Round. Well, at the start of the final term, that gives Footscray three goals in the space of six and a half minutes. And Jack has uh, opened up a nice sort of a gap, really, hasn't he? Well, I think the biggest break in the game all day, Frank, that I can remember. I, I think 13 points Fitzroy led Footscray by at one stage. And now we see Footscray fighting back to have a nice lead of 16 points on the board. So uh, Fitzroy will have to do something and start doing it fairly quickly because we're approaching the seven-minute mark of the final term. And as we've just said, Footscray have got a fair break on them. Footscray, uh, Fitzroy needs three goals and needs them quickly, but Featherby drives Footscray to attack once again. Up towards Sandons, who's pushed in the back. That one's not paid. It's called play on. Out on the forward pocket position, we see Harvey Merrigan picking up for Fitzroy, looking into Ward Irwin at centre half forward, but elects to kick over toward McCulloch. McCulloch leading to the ball on the outer half back flank, has been retarded in going for the ball and will take the free kick from this position. McCulloch, half back flank on the outer side, looking upfield. No one much to kick to, or a shocking kick anyhow. It favours Dempsey or Huppets. Huppets uh, takes the ball from Dempsey. Looks in toward the half-forward zone. Gallagher couldn't take the ball. Has been paid the mark at half-forward for Footscray. Rather dicey mark, that one. But Gallagher been paid. Won't, won't score with a kick. They're looking for a teammate. A high kick towards Sandilands. Up they fly. The man at the back. That's a... Uh, Barry, Peter, Peter Welsh. Welsh. Peter Welsh. We well, certainly bobbed up in the final quarter. Well, so he should. He's been a very quiet player today. Did very, very little in the first three quarters of the game. But well, you've seen it on the on the big replay. He's certainly coming into it now. Welsh, 40 metres out, directly in front. Looks Got pretty it. good. It's full points kicked by Peter Welsh and Footscray coming home like a train as they move to 14-10, 94 points. Fitzroy on 10-12, 72. Footscray have been helped along uh, very well today by the great ruck work of big Gary Dempsey and the fine defence of Bernie Quinlan. They've been two real stalwarts for Footscray today. And now we see in the latter part of the game players such as Peter Welsh coming on the scene. Huppets finding a bit more form in the final term. And a few of the Footscray players are lifting themselves. We possibly might see a few more lift themselves now because Footscray have moved away to a 22-point lead. It's Fitzroy trailing by that margin at the nine-minute mark of the final term. Umpire Neville Nash puts the ball to turf. Dempsey comes in. McCulloch was there, but Dempsey got the tap down. And Huppet, uh, Rasmussen takes it away. And Welsh playing at centre-half forward, taking yet another mark in the final term. It's on the big replay. We see Peter Welsh finding form for Footscray. Welsh from this position, 65 metres out from goal. The kick in toward the forward pocket. Look for the lead down there, the lead by Huppert Sport, the ball coming across the Sandlands, who couldn't contain it, so it's out of bounds in Footscray's forward pocket, 25 metres out from goal. 17 is Gallagher getting, to, getting into position as Round does the ruck work, tries to grab it, succeeds in doing so, gets it from the ruck, puts boot the ball, but uh, it's offline, out of bounds, no score. Free kick coming Fitzroy's way, and it's Footscray looking pretty good at the moment. Sandlands, the man on the mark. Harvey Merrigan, Merrigan will take the kick, Frank. He'll be looking, he'll be trying to get away from Dempsey, I would say, but I don't see how he can from that position. The kick is high. It doesn't quite carry towards Dempsey. The pack meet it, can't do much with it. Picked up and hurriedly kicked up the field by Wilson. 
up toward the centre of the ground. It's Footscray coming on the scene again. Hand pass came out there. And oops, uh, that could have been a free kick. The tackle was too high. Marty McMillan. We'll see Marty McMillan of Footscray take the kick. I can't see who he replaced. I didn't see anyone go off. Marty McMillan from the centre. The kick off the side of the boot. Drifts down to the forward pocket. They stretch and the mark will be paid down there to number 25, Jeff Austin. Austin. From back pocket, the kick not all that good, works its way up towards the half-back flank. Appleton had a chance, couldn't hang on to it. Being picked up here by Irwin. Cool play gets him out of trouble as he boots it up towards the half-forward flank. McMillan couldn't hang on to it. And that's uh, David Walls running straight into Marty McMillan. And Walls picking up the free kick. Umpire Neville Mass saying the tackle was too high. David Wall. 15-metre penalty to Frank, which puts Wall on the 65-metre mark. Going for a short pass, looks for Serafini. He leads out in front of Merrington, can't take the mark. It's on the turf. A chance now for Casey of Footscray with the ball in front of him. Being well shepherded by his teammates. A left foot kick from Casey, who leaves the pressure down toward the half-back line. An opportunity now for Footscray to go forward. The tackle to Featherby was too high, and Featherby will take the free kick for Footscray on the members' half, members side half-back play position. Short one by Featherby down toward Park. Under the ball and the mark taken at the back. It looks like it's going to be Carter taking the mark for Fitzroy. There's no one moving in the Fitzroy side to give Carter any lead at all. He kicks to a oh, blind kick taken easily by Rasmussen. Breaks away straight away. And with the left foot, uh, with the right foot, kick drives right down toward the half forward zone. Sandilands couldn't take the mark. The ball on the ground with Harvey Merrigan. His hand pass out of trouble. Finds McMahon. He looks upfield looking for Linton, but it's Quinlan coming on the scene. Quinlan taps the ball out of trouble. And Footscray can go forward once again as Jennings gets a hand pass working. Now over to Quinlan again. Quinlan just about scored from here. He lets go with a big kick. It's right up to the, the goal square. And the mark taken by Lowry Sandilands. Fine passage of play. Footscray now. They've really got their tails up. Magnificent play by Quinlan. Quick. Got the ball on quickly. Found Sandilands all on his own in the goal square. Just been brought round to the right angle, which is about a 45 degree angle. So Sandilands from only 20 metres out will be going for goal number seven. Sandilands coming in, looking for his seventh goal. In he comes now, and in throw it goes. So that's seven goals for Laurie Sandland, and that brings 100 up to Footscray. They move on to 15 10, 100 points. Fitzroy on 10 12, 72. I notice now that the uh, runner for Fitzroy has just gone out to tell Wilson the Rover to get up on the ball and try and get Fitzroy back into the game. May have left the run a bit late. 15 10, 100, as Frank has told you the story in front of you. The trailing by 28 points. Fitzroy down by 28 points, and we've played all but 13 minutes of the final term. So most of the quarters have been going around the 30, 31 minute mark. Fitzroy still have time to get up, but they'll have to start finding some form. Well, it's been the Footscray's quarter, Jack. That's five goals in 12 and a half minutes. Good football, and you're watching the best football of the day. Yes, on the big replay from Channel 7, that's what you're watching, the best football that's been played on the Western Oval at Footscray this afternoon. Umpire Neville Nash putting the ball down once again. The ruckman rise high. Dempsey beaten by Austin on that occasion. It's been tapped out to the wing position where no one yet can take control of it. Umpire Nash called play on as the players fumble their way through the pack picked up here by Irwin. Irwin on the left foot leaves out toward Linton. Linton just gets it in time as a tackle came from Marty McMillan. Linton's on half forward flank. Heads across towards centre half forward but hooks the ball. The ball drifting deeper up towards the half uh, forward flank territory and the push in the back there has been picked up and Fitzroy to take the free kick. Well Doug Searle took the mark cleanly enough but he wasn't allowed to take the kick. You see the shot now by Serafini. In toward the goal, the kick dropping short, it's up to the square, but who could take this one? Searle got up again, oh, McCulloch had his hands to it, the ball taken away. It comes back toward the half-back flank where O'Keefe comes on the scene. Fitzroy, they can't get to it. Fitzroy is O'Keefe and also Thompson getting to the ball, but the boundary line was too close. And now we see a throw-in take place on the half-forward flank for Fitzroy on the member's side of the ground. Ball comes over, the Ruckman form up. Dempsey got the tap down to the front of the pack, kicked out by Appleton, up toward Gordon Casey. He's on the left foot, will just about use that one. Yes, on the left foot he goes, down towards centre wing. Well, they wait for the ball, Wells flies high, can't even make contact with it, picked up here by Austin. He gets the left foot working, finds Murphy in the centre. On the right foot he goes, a floating punt kick, drifts up towards centre half forward, the pack by and a mark will be paid to Doug Searle. Searle, who was started the game at centre half back, but uh, he was soon cut to ribbons by... Greg Park shifted up to the forward line. He's kicked three goals since that move was made. Trying for that goal number four, puts it on its way. It's drifted a little bit. It has. It's offline to register only one point. 
So Fitzroy move up to 10 goals, 13, 73. Trailing Footscray by 27 points. The Bulldogs, there it is, 15, 10, 100. Gary Merrington, we're looking for Dempsey again. Dempsey hasn't missed many marks today. There's a kick by Merrington toward Dempsey. The pack will hit Dempsey from the back. They fly high. Dempsey tapped it down. Well taken by McMillan. He kicks very high to the outer side wing position. And the mark has been spilled completely. Play on as the call from umpire Nash. Hand pass Cano. The hand pass was dummy. It looks as though that uh, umpire Nash has stopped play now and awarded a free kick that I didn't actually pick up. Fitzroy about to come forward once again. David Wall calling for the ball at centre half four. The kick is in that direction. Wall won't get to it. He was at the back of the pack waiting for the drum, which never turned up because Saxe has taken the mark for Footscray. Saxe drives it up towards centre half four. A chance here for Fitzroy to take some of the pressure off as the ball's picked up and kicked by McMahon up towards the half four flank. Wilson waits and takes a good mark in that position. Gary Wilson certainly has tried his best all day today. Half forward flank, 80 metres out from goal. 40 metre kick, the ball starts to work its way to the forward pocket, a bit of weight being used cleverly down there by Dempsey, a hand pass by David Wall, comes back towards Thompson, he gets a left footer, the ball dropping about 15 metres short of goal, punched away by Merrington, Serafini secures, gets rid of the ball, but the ball picked up here by Featherby, Featherby steadies, tries to place the ball, the kick falling short, and away we go through Linton, the ball coming across towards centre half forward, the pack fly, David Wall, second grab, will be paid. David Wall started the match up in great fashion, Kicked three goals in the first quarter, followed up with uh, another one in the second to give him four. Nothing in the third, so now he's going for goal number five from directly in front and 40 metres out. Fitzroy, if they to get back into this game, badly need a goal. David Wall, left footer. And he comes online, looks pretty good to me. It is, it's four points kicked by David Wall. So Fitzroy now moving on to 11-13, 79 points, trailing Footscray on 15-10, 100. Well, there's plenty of time for Fitzroy to come back, and they have to just keep kicking goals. 17 minutes now have gone in the final term, and as we did say before, we expect the quarter will go around about the 30 to 31 minute duration, which the others have anyhow. So, And we did have a lost ball, so... Uh, who knows just how long the quarter will go. If Fitzroy can whip the ball out of the centre quickly, which they haven't been able to do since the first quarter, Footscray have taken over in this department, and uh, if Fitzroy can get the ball out of the centre quickly and get it up to their forward line, well, they will certainly put the goals on the board, but it's up to Dempsey in the centre for Footscray. Got the big tap down, picked up here, and hurriedly kicked by Irwin toward half forward. It's going to bounce badly for Dell, which it does. Taken here by Wall, he's always on the wrong foot, had the kick smothered near the boundary line. Footscray players get the fumbles. Wall gets pushed in the back, but the indication is a boundary throw in. Half forward flank, 60 metres out from Fitzroy's goal. Away they go. McCulloch gets the front position. Dempsey from behind. Taps it down beautifully where it's accepted by Quinlan. Quinlan with a long kick up towards the centre half forward position. Wells trying to get back to it. It was punched away by McMahon. Comes to O'Keefe. He's being hassled a bit down there by Rasmussen as O'Keefe backs his feet to get himself out of trouble. And a nice long low kick up towards centre half forward. They stretch and Searle brings it down. Not Searle, I should say. He's trying to pick that player up down there. That's Smith, Frank. Smith. I thought he may have been penalised. He put the hand in the back there, but the umpire let him get away with it. The kick from Smith travels high. Up towards Serafini, who's been... No, who hasn't been paid the mark. It's called play on. Picked up by Murphy. His kick is smothered. And puts over the opportunity to take the ball away. But in the back is called against Wilson. And the free kick will be taken by Featherby. Featherby only about 40 metres out from the Fitzroy goal. Hand passing over to Casey. Casey now from the flank, kicking over toward the boundary line where the mark has been taken by Adrian Gallagher. Another hand passes on Footscray, trying to move the ball downfield with hand passes. One good kick can undo all that work. It's been on, still on the half-forward flank where Linton picks up the free kick for Fitzroy, and I think will hurry, hurry the game up and get it moving toward David Wall. Here's Linton coming in now. The kick is up towards Smith. Got the hands to it and took the mark for Fitzroy. At centre half-forward. 55 to 60 metres, goes for the short pass and finds Serafini, 35 to 40 metres out, directly in front. Fitzroy trailing by 21 points, badly needing a, needing a goal as Serafini comes in. Deliberate shot, oh, it's not a good one either. It's well off the side of the boot and brings up only a point. That takes Fitzroy on to 80 points, puts Gray on 120 points of difference, just on 19 and a half minutes into the final turn. Well, the difference in the scores, Frank, is the difference in the kicking for goal. 15 10, that's 25 shots to 25 shots. So it's only accuracy that's got Footscray up so far in the match. 
Short pass on there by Merrington and Footscray with a chance to go downfield now. A long driving kick toward the centre. O'Keefe sets himself. Rasmussen there, neither take the mark. It's an opportunity existing now for Fitzroy to come forward. No one leading at all. There's the kick up toward half forward. Players rise. Wall got two. On the second grab, David Wall plays on quickly. Gives it to Thompson. Thompson coming past. A high kick up toward the square they go. Merrington sets himself. Can't take the mark. They've all missed it on the way through. McCulloch with the ball. Trying to force it out of the pack. But it's Footscray's free kick. They're holding the ball decision against McCulloch. Waiting to see who takes it. Gary Merrington. Moving into position. It's a lead by Power. He's pointing to Sandilands as a loose man, but Merrington not having any. The kick, a wobbly looking kick, starting to drop short. A push in the back by Murphy. Uh, pretty hard one for the outside on this, John. <laughs> so a free kick. Going. I think Murphy was a victim of circumstances here, Frank. I think Johnny Murphy's a little bit frustrated today, Jackie. He really hasn't had a great day. He's been out of touch. So a free kick going to Peter Featherby. Nice one too. Across towards the centre of the ground. Up they go. They fly. They keep got his hands to have been picked up there. And too slow. And he's really slung with the third. Down he goes. And the mate matters worse. He loses the kick. A free kick. Sandy Lutz. have just lost Rasmussen. Or has been taken off to allow Ted Whitten to come on. Featherby now from half forward. Driving with a torpedo punt kick down toward the forward pocket. The ball beats the pack. The umpire's indicated a free kick. Which way he's going to play this, I don't know. Huppert's going back to take possession. And that's the way the free kick will be played. Ray Huppert's with the opportunity now to have a shot for his fourth goal. Has kicked three straight goals today out of the foot straight total of 15 goals, 10. 20 points of difference so far. Huppert comes in, tries for his fourth. He's missed completely. No, one point only. Well, Huppert's hasn't done a bad sort of a job in the roving division today. Uh, this last quarter has been reasonably good. And I thought, Jack, that uh, he's done a fair job through the previous three quarters too. He's been in everything. He's been a good worker, Frank. He's been a, well. He, that's that's his style of game. He's a hard worker all day, and today he certainly has played his part in Footscray's lead. There's a kick, a good one too. 65 metres up went Austin. Tapped the ball down in front. They give chase. The ball onto the ground. Irwin's there trying to uh, get clear. Was hung onto. Didn't have the ball and will take the free kick. Irwin from halfway between back pocket and half back flank. 22 minutes into the last quarter. It's Irwin who puts boot the ball, kicks it high, starting to drop short. They fly down there, they stretch the ball, coming down, picked up by Gallagher, just about threw the ball away there. It's uh, rough and tumble football down there. Umpire Nash picking a free kick out of it and uh, will be broken up and uh, the kick to go to Peter Featherby. Featherby going for a hand pass now to put them forward. Footscray through Sandal, it's from half forward. He gathered a few yards there with a long driving kick right down towards the goals, but only one behind from that result. Featherby hasn't been... Uh, that's a bit of bad player, Frank. Murphy's had a quiet day, so we must take a cap off for Featherby uh, in that position in the centre. He's done more as the game's progressed, Jack. He started off a bit slowly, but he has improved. There's a kick from Harvey Merrigan to the outer side. Players set themselves. Barry Round got his big frame in position. Couldn't take the mark. It's Fitzroy coming forward. The ball is driven by Wilson up toward Searle. Out on the half forward, Frank got his hands to it. Not played, yes. Oh, no, he's played the free kick, not the mark. Umpire Nash indicating that uh, Searle was being held. There's the kick by Searle, in toward David Wall. Serafini got up high and actually spawned each other there. No, Serafini has been awarded the mark. Serafini's at centre half forward, 45 to 50 metres out from goal. Coming in with Fitzroy trailing by 22 points as Serafini, Serafini at least once again puts it offline and through for another point. So the last two shots from Serafini have both been from 45 metres out. And have both been the same type of kick, Jack, haven't they? Well, I Just think he's slightly outside his distance, Frank. That's the, for accuracy, that is. Short pass is on, accepted by Huppert. Huppert sidesteps beautifully out of trouble. Gets balance, puts the ball up towards the centre wing. They wait for it down there. They fly. Round was in there, upset the pack. The ball picked up by Linton, given a cross here towards Irwin. Irwin in turn, kicks it high across towards centre half forward. Up they go. The big fist comes in and spoils. Do David Wall calling for the hand pass from Searle. Searle doing well if he can get out of that trouble. Gives a bit of a push in the back. He's been caught. And a free kick will go uh, Footscray's way. Bernie Quinlan, one of the better players in the game at centre half back, picks himself up. Well, I think that he'll be looking for Barry Round. He's been using the drop kick with great, uh, to great advantage. This time it's the punt kick in toward the centre of the ground. Players contest, but none can take the mark. Picked up by Padley. A high kick up towards Smith, setting himself in front of the pack. Can't take the mark. It's been forced at the front of the pack now. And we see Wilson roving very well for Fitzroy. Picks up. Snaps at goal from 35, 40 metres out. Harrington got his hands to it, but the ball is carried through for one behind only. Clock moving up to the 
Start of the time on period. And Footscray on 15, 12, 102. Leading Fitzroy by 20 points. The Lions on 11, 16, 82. Gary Merrington. Favoured by a slight breeze. Nice looking torpedo punt kick right down the middle of the ground. Doug Searles in there. Stretching down there was Wells. Picked up by Featherby. Kick high out towards the half forward bank where they wait for the ball to drop down there. It's uh, beaten the pack. Being picked up here by Padley. Padley trying to fumble. Gets a hand pass working for him. And it's uh, been punched out here. An opportunity for Footscray to go forward. The kick uh, deeper into a half forward bank territory. Chance for a keep went for a wild punch. Couldn't do so. Whit with a chance now as he lines up the goals from about 20 metres out. On an angle and puts it through for another point. Fitzroy on to 15-13, 103. Fitzroy on 11-16, 82. Harvey Merrington defending towards the halfback flank on the outer side of the ground. As the ball drops short. Wilson looking for a hand pass from McMahon. It's not coming. The ball, bo ball being pushed out towards Wilson. He's under a lot of pressure down there. Pushed along now by Appleton. Appleton can't do much about it either. And uh, it's over the line and out of bounds on half forward flank. Now a free kick coming out of it. Yes to Fitzroy. There's the kick up field toward the wing position on the outer side. Fitzroy trying to move the ball uh, quickly. But Fitzroy not allowing this. The kick up toward Wall who's going to set over the top of the pack. He flies high. Oh, he got his hands out. Will he be paid? Yes, David Wall. He shouldn't go back and take the kick because he can kick the distance. He plays on. A hurried kick. Gets himself in stride. Quinton got to the ball. Couldn't take it. Picked up by McMillan. His relieving kick coming back toward the centre of the Western Oval. Bounces badly for everybody. They keep coming through. Couldn't take the ball. Peter Well did his way through the pack. Just took it away from everybody. And a hurried kick high into the Footscray's attacking zone. Dempsey sets himself. Can't take the mark. The Fitzroy defence under terrific pressure. The ball forced out. Oh, Saxon got one. Got the beauty. And Saxon goes down halfway between the centre half forward and full forward position for Footscray. He caught the real beauty. Trainer's now coming out to the... I don't know whether he's unconscious or not, but he's certainly hardly moved the muscle. Moved at all. Oh, he's off. He got hit. He got hit hard. Saxe is out. You see the medico coming from the fence. Not on your screen as yet. Looks like he's out cold. Calling for the stretcher. Saxe stopped the beauty. He was involved in a bit of an incident, Frank, in the third quarter there with young Gary Wilson yes, on the I, member's side wing. I must say, you, you wouldn't pass, certainly wouldn't pass that one as an instant, Jack. It was a hard knock with uh, Saxe coming through, head down, away he went, and uh, the Detroit player coming straight at him, and he was, as you can see, well and truly ironed out. So, not a good end to the game as far as Saxe's concerned. game really all but finished it was at the 25 and a half minute or 27 minute mark I don't know if Foot Footscray got both their reserves on Frank I, I know that Witten's on in well, place of and Marty McMillan's on so, yeah, so the both their reserves are on the ground and Saxe has to be taken from the ground on a stretcher which means that Fitzroy uh, will have one more player on the ground actually than Footscray Saxe can't take any part in this game again and I would say looking at this that he won't be available for selection next week because it's a standard rule in most clubs players who receive such an offer as this doesn't, they don't play the following week Saxe being taken from the ground now on a stretcher after receiving a very heavy knock to the head I couldn't say there was any spot involved it's just one of those things that happen in this game of Australian rules football for the portraits of the crowd not that you'll be hearing them Saxe is being taken from the field, as you see. The doctor from Footscray with him there. Umpire Nash awaits the uh, stretcher to be taken from the ground before he start proceedings once again. Halfway, as I told you, halfway between the centre half forward and full forward position for Footscray. The time clock has ticked around. We have a, a very long quarter now because we've lost about two and a half to three minutes over that incident. There's the injured player being taken from the field and umpire Neville Nash about to start proceedings once again. The time clock has moved up past the 29-minute mark of the final term. All the action brought to you on the big replay are from Channel 7. Bounce takes place. McCulloch got the tap down. From this position, a big pack forms up. Umpire Nash will watch it clear, uh, very closely and make sure that nothing else can happen. Puts Gray playing with 17 men. The bounce to take place. 
just short of centre half forward, about 40 metres out from Footscray's goal. Dempsey flies, so too does McCulloch. The tap down comes towards Welsh. He can't handle it cleanly. The ball picked up and being pushed out of the pack. Players starting to dive on top of it once again. An opportunity was there for Whitten. He couldn't pick it up either. Plenty of pressure on in the closing stages. And umpire now skimming the free kick, which uh, will break up the pack, which is not, uh, which is pretty good thinking. Okay. The Fitzroy half back flanker to take the free kick. About 20 metres out from the Footscray goal. Goes for the short pass, finds his teammate in Max McMahon. No, the, the ball, ball call back. Ball called back, Frank, for some reason. I'm fine. That's recalling that O'Keefe will have to have another kick. So the sort of a stalemate here at the Western Oval. Not much going on. There's the kick now up toward Barry Round in the pack of Smith, but Round claiming the mark for Footscray. On half forward, flank on the member's side with Footscray kicking to the northern end of the Western Oval. A big kick by Round within 20 metres of goal. Dempsey sets himself. Can't take the mark. Players on the ground once again. Now keep diving in, and he's been attacked from all sides by Footscray players. Umpire Nash will bounce again. Once again, we're 20 metres out from the Footscray goal. Dempsey does the ruck work, grabs it. He's quickly collared. Can't get his quick in. A chance here for Harper. He picks up, gets onto the left foot, kicks it over his shoulder. It starts to work back, but not enough. One point only. Fitzroy on 11-16, 82. Footscray 15-14, 104. Waiting for the ball to come back from the crowd. As Jack's told you, this will be a long quarter. Most of the other quarters are averaging 31 to 32 minutes, and uh, we've just reached the 31-minute mark, but uh, because of the sexy uh, episode, uh, I anticipate perhaps another two minutes to this game. The kick-in. Good one, too. Works its way into the breeze. Out towards the half-back flank, and a mark will be paid down there. Going, uh, Someone wearing an unfamiliar Guernsey there, Frank. Can't quite pick him up. He's on the outer side, half-forward flank. It's Footscray in attack. Long kick will come in. It's a wobbling punt kick, a high one. One for the high flyers. Dempsey in front has the ball punched away. On the second grab, he was spoiled again. The ball down there. Young Ted Whitten trying to pick up. Can't do so. And now we'll see a boundary throw in take place. It's a throw in coming in once again. Footscray every opportunity of a score. Fitzroy need the score, but Footscray have the ball at their end of the ground. There's a ball forced along the boundary line. Could have been a free kick to Whitten. Umpire Nash indicating. Something is coming in on the scene, indicating the line of the kick, and Witten will take the free kick for Footscray. Witten halfway between forward pocket and half forward flank. Goes for the short pass, centres the ball, finds Sandilands at centre half forward, and Laurie Sandilands takes an easy mark. 